Will rain affect your plans? Chief Meteorologist James Spann has the seven day forecast. The state's education budget remains in good shape and lawmakers are taking the opportunity to evaluate if there needs to be a change in how the state divides and divvies up money for school districts. ABC 3340's Erin Wise reports a joint legislative committee is trying to decide if it makes sense for the state to switch to a model tied to students' needs. National Nonprofit for Education Reform, Bellwether, looks at four principles for education funding mechanisms. Adequate funding, addressing student needs, responsibility, and transparency. We see challenges in all four of the principles for Alabama. Alabama currently uses resource-based funding, which allocates state money for anticipated cost of resources and inputs for a school based on census. Bellwether representatives explain Alabama's funding model hasn't kept pace with inflation, allocates minimal funding for students with disabilities, is restrictive to local school districts, and lacks transparency. The state is 39th in per-student funding, according to Bellwether. Jennifer Scheiss says student-weighted funding is a better, more simple mechanism to address the four principles. You have a base amount, which is a set amount that goes for every student. It's sort of the, the, the base amount is the amount that you assume every student, bottom line, with no additional needs, requires to support their education. That's the foundation of this, the program. And then you add to that weighted amounts that are tied to student characteristics. Those characteristics could include special needs, English language learners, and poverty. Most states utilize a student weighted formula. We wanted to lay out the facts for them, what other states are doing, particularly more recently Tennessee and Mississippi, and then uh, get a gauge on the membership and what their desires are for the coming months. Senate Budget Chairman Arthur Orr says if they move forward with the change, it will be a long-term process for implementation. There were several questions around accountability. If school districts get more money to address student needs, there has to be a process to show better student outcomes. Bellwether says the legislature can come up with their own accountability policy. In Montgomery, Aaron Wise, ABC 3340 News. Now, during the meeting, State Superintendent Dr. Eric Mackey was questioned by the committee if he supported their efforts. And this comes after making comments during a Board of Education meeting last week about a funding change taking a significant amount of new revenue or shifting of local funds. Mackey says he does support the committee's efforts to look at where the state is now. His comments were related to studies done in the past. 